Today we'll be meeting with Tyler. Though she barely brings in any money, she spends a large amount of her budget on going out to eat constantly in transportation services like Uber and Lyft. Give this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people. This is Financial Audit. Hello, my name is Tyler Lauren. I'm 23 years old. I am from California and now living in Austin, Texas, and I am 23 years old. So what do you do for a living currently? Home insurance from home. Okay, what's your job? Oh, call center representative. Nice, how much do you make? 15 an hour. Okay, how many hours a week do you work? 40 hours. Okay, so making 15 bucks an hour, you're working full time, 40 hours. Just so I don't have to do the math, do you know how much you make on a monthly basis? 2400 a month. Okay, cool. Is that after taxes or before? After taxes. It's, it's kind of hard to live on Austin and with $2,400 a month, isn't it? Yes, that's why I'm doing little side stuff, makeup on the side. Okay, so lots of side hustles. Side hustles, yeah. If you had to guess, how much do your side hustles bring in a month? Ooh, not that much, maybe 200 like an extra 200 a month or so. It's just here and there. Okay, so you make $2,400 a month, uh, plus an extra 200 when it comes to your side hustles. Looking at your checking account, I did see in the previous 30 days, you deposited a total of $2,843. Does that sound correct to you? That sounds kind of high. Yeah, it's definitely higher than uh, the 2,600 then that yeah. you potentially missed. Um, but I do I'm think- i by that number. How much do you think you spent though in that 30 days? Mostly all of it, <laughs> all of it probably bills and stuff I have to pay for now. So you spent two thousand uh, fifty-five dollars eighty-three cents. Pretty close to all of it. Pretty close to all of it, but you actually have seven hundred ninety-two dollars sitting in there at the time of this statement. But let's look into your checking account and see what you're spending money on. Oh, okay, it's gonna get deep. How much do you think you spent in total when it came to eating out? Out. Oh. And this is from using your debit card. I see you actually pulled money out of ATM, so I can't calculate that by using your debit card. I don't usually go out a whole lot, so I don't think I'm spending all of it on. I think mostly it's going towards bills, but I don't think I'm going How much? out a lot. Two hundred and one hundred. And you think and you think two is not that much if you bring in two thousand four hundred dollars to spend on food and going out to eat. Is that a lot? Yeah, when it, when it comes to the percentage of how much you bring in, that's a good amount. What did you say? Yeah. Yeah, uh, $158.91. But that was on the debit card. Doesn't calculate how much you gave to other people in Venmo if you went out with friends or anything like that. And it doesn't calculate how much you took out for ATMs. Do you have a, you just got a new car, you said? Yeah, I had to get a new card. When did you get it? Two weeks ago. Explain the ninety-five dollars in Uber payments. Then. Does that count as going out? Um, what? Well, that as going out to eat or no? No, that's not going out to eat. These are Uber trips. Um, went to friends' houses. Um, and you didn't have your car at the time. Yes. Okay, so the hundred bucks a month you spend on Ubering everywhere, that's probably going to change then because you have your car now. Yes. Okay. With gas. I don't know if it's the same with gas. So taking a deeper look. Applebee's, Uber Trip, Uber Trip, Smoothie King, Smoothie King, Mad Greens, Smoothie King, lots of Smoothie King, Thai Cuisine, Uber Trip, Pizza, a Cash App to your friends, 65 bucks, a pub, Jack and Ginger's Irish Pub, Uber Trip, Uber Trip, Uber Trip. Why so many Uber Trips? What are you doing? I have to get out. I can't just be staying in the house all day. Yeah, but if you spend a hundred bucks from the two thousand four hundred you bring in a month, isn't that a lot? Yeah, I probably would only Uber if like I went out to drink. That's the only time I would Uber. So it's that's gonna change the Uber. So if you take into account your Uber tripping and you're going out to eat, you're spending ten percent of your income on that. Not, not too bad, 10%. 10%? 10 on your wants, essentially. So if you break it down by the 50, 30, 20 rule, you can spend, in the recommended budget, 30% of your income on wants. So that's 10%. So that makes up a third of your wants category. So it does give you some room to play. So I guess it's actually not terrible, but we need to see where the rest of your money is. What's your monthly rent? I only give my mom 300. So you live with your parents? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's definitely a money saver. Three hundred, and then two forty-six for the car payment every week. Every week. Yeah, but oh, oh. it's gonna change to one ten because I have a defer payment because I didn't. I only put down fourteen hundred. I don't know. Oh wait, wait. How long? For. For another like three weeks, I'm paying two forty six a week. Oh, I see what you did. Okay, so we can quickly transition to your car debt then. Your primary loan of the car, essentially fifteen thousand bucks, and then you financed your down payment. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of money. No, it's just stupid. Why don't you just actually save up some money and put money down instead of financing a down payment? I'll put more money down. Why didn't you just put money down I put in general? I put fourteen hundred down. I could have put two thousand. I was supposed to put two thousand, but they deferred the payment of six hundred, oh. so I had to pay that extra to pay that off that six hundred. Then it's gonna be one ten a week. Why are you Why are you doing it by week? That's how they do it. You know they do That's it. Actually better for me because then I, I don't know then it's gonna be harder for me to budget I feel like you do weekly budgets instead of monthly I just feel like it would just be easier for me I don't know because I would have to save well I just have to do I would have to save more I would have to save like you know they're showing you that 110 a week because 110 is an easy number to swallow right mm -hmm. Four hundred forty dollars a month. How does that sound? That's a lot. Yeah. But I needed a car for fifteen thousand dollar car. Yeah, for... my, my dad was telling me I should return it, but I was like, oh. you should listen to your dad because where car prices are right now, it's probably not actually in the real world like a year from now worth that. It's probably going to be worth half of that in a year, two years from now. So I would, you, this is insane. Oh, I do see. 246. I was like, oh, okay, 246. That's your monthly car payment. That's not that bad. 246 a week? For how many weeks? How many weeks until that's paid off? Four weeks, so you're only oh, doing no. that for a month? Oh, three. I would have to check. I would have to call and ask. But I would say three. Three. I've been paying on it for two weeks. So for a month and a half, essentially $1,000. For a used car, for a used fifteen thousand dollar car, a thousand dollars a month. Half of your income a month for a fifteen thousand dollar car. Who convinced you to do this? Did you do this on your own? Did, were your parents with you? Yeah, my my mom was with me. And she didn't try to talk you out of this. No, she's that's the only because I have because my I can really have a good story after like my ex husband ruined my credit. There could be a whole story about credit. My, if you were to pull my credit score, but it's like 18 things on my credit now. Let's pull your credit score. Let's take a look at it. No. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Uh, okay. Oh. Wait a minute. I've never seen a credit score in the 400s before. <laughs> I mean, I knew the number existed because there's obviously numbers that exist before 500 it's really bad it's actually down but the apartments are are on there what, what about the what, what happened to the apartments ditch the lease you just got out and ran basically and didn't pay because my husband was handling everything or my ex-husband was handling everything and then he's like oh i can get that off your credit and oh. One, I feel like your car loan is like a, like a payday loan. Like the interest has to be pure insanity. I, I can't see what the interest is. They probably don't want to tell you what it is on here. And it's because 400 credit score, 450, you have $4,630 in collections. Did you know that? Yeah. I knew, I didn't know it was that number, but I knew it was a lot of stuff on there. Your Uber.
your Ubering of a hundred dollars a month is much more affordable than your uh, after your insane weekly down payment financing thing ends. It'll still be four hundred forty dollars a month for a nothing car. Why? That's the, that's the only place that would accept me. Yeah. What was it? What was the place? It's called Dynamic Motors. Why is collections not paid off? Why do you get a car when you have collections? Why is collections not paid off? Why is there collections? What is the collections for? Apartments. Why is this not paid off? Why have you not paid this off? I guess I can, would it go up if I start paying it off? Wait, would what go up? Your credit score? Yeah, like would it go start going up if I start paying it off? I mean, once the collections are off, yes. This, you need to call them and negotiate this down and you're gonna have to fight with them. How long, how long have those collections been there? Because it doesn't say that. Probably two years. Oh, they've been there for two years? Why have you not paid this off? Please tell me a reason. I didn't really look into it. <laughs> if you pay it off in full, your score will increase by 25 points. That's it? Yeah, dude, you had collections on your account. That means you're a terrible person to lend to it means you're risky so you're it's still gonna be there and if you settled it for less it'll increase it by 21 point since because you clearly cannot afford this because your car payment makes up half of your income and then with the $300 you give your mom and I don't even know what your other payments are it's brutally clear you cannot afford this for a, a Bella Flats apartments yeah see those, there goes the apartments on there you need to call them and fight to get things reduced. You need to save up $2,000 as quick as you can. As quick as you can. I am not joking. You need to save it up as quick as you can. Say, I have $2,000. I will settle it today. And keep saying that over and over again until they agree to it. And give them $2,000. Boom. The $4,500 in collections is gone. You need to do that. That's only for one apartment? Well, the other one's only 421 so I'm just combining it together. When they're both gone, your score will increase by uh, 50 in total. And then I won't be in collections anymore. And you will not be in collections anymore, which is, I mean, at, at some point, you know, they can take you to court, right? Yeah. How are you not sweating right now? I'm holding it in. I would be dying. Should I call the collection agency? Yes. Well, when you have like 2,000 saved, do you have 2,000? No, you have 792. You don't have money anywhere else, right? I had the... I had before you got the car. I can't believe you went into $15,000 in debt before you even paid off your collection. What is the side loan, side, side loan balances for? What is that? 780 bucks. Seven, uh, $7,800. I'm not sure what that is. It's clear that you owe $15,000 for the car. $7,800 for something else. Uh, before transaction, after transaction, $840 is owed for the down payment financing. This is killer. You're dying. This is weekly. Can't afford that. What other, what other monthly payments do you have to take care of? That's it. Car insurance? There's car insurance. Yeah. Of? I haven't gotten car insurance yet. Like they have car insurance on the car. There are places in Austin that will kill to get people to work for them. And we'll pay 20, 25 bucks an hour. You need to look for, yes, a second job, but you need to look for a better main job. Because your life right now is essentially ruined. And you applied for a Capital One credit card recently? No, probably my ex did that. He probably has a lot of access to a lot of stuff, but there's only so much I can do. Look into that Capital One, because I don't know, unless you applied for multiple places for your car loan. I see the car loan, but I also see Capital One. You need to make sure your boyfriend is not applying for credit on your behalf. Because if so, you need to uh, report fraud and everything. Yeah, I'm probably going to message him and... You guys in good terms? No. He's trying to take me to court. I'm like, I don't know what you're doing. He's trying to take you to court for, for what? For a light bill. 
because I didn't pay the light bill, he's like, I'm going to sue you for $400 because I was there when I was there. You are in some major trouble. You have any student debt? I think I owe like 400 to a school. Oh, well, there's more. It just keeps coming. 400 isn't... Why, why, why is that not paid off? Can you tell me why that $400 is not paid off? If you have $792 right here and you know you owe $400 to someone, why is that not paid right now? I owe $400. You said you owe $400 oh, to a for school. The school yeah. Why is that not paid off if you have the money? More than double. Or you double. I'll look into it now. What other debts do you have? Credit cards? Anything? No. What other monthly bills do you have to take care of? Nothing. All the rest goes to like what I want or need. There is no more wants. You have no more wants. You have no more wants. Okay. Today. You need to figure out that school payment. You need to pay that today with the money that's in your account. You then need to call the car company. You need to say, Make up all the excuses in the world and try to return this car. And if you can't, go to CarMax, try to sell it. You need to get rid of this car because that's insane. Thousand bucks a month and then eventually 500 bucks a month. That's insane. 15 bucks an hour. Then I'm going to be stuck with no car. No, not, not necessarily. One, the amount of Ubering you did that month, cheaper. Two, you said it was remote. Yeah, I have the remote position but if I want to get a second job then try to return this car or sell this car when you sell it pay off this balance immediately because used car it's a seller's market right now you could pour I think you could get close to this 15,000 I really do unless they really jibbed you because it sounded like you went to like a sketchy place you have to look into that on yourself and then you do need a car yeah, I need a, that's the only place I wouldn't go. No, no, no. Wait a second. You need to cut back on all of your wants. Every want. You do not have a want for three months. You work your remote job. You have no payments in the world other than 300 bucks a month when you don't have this car. You save up $5,000 as quickly as you can. You go to a place, you get a $5,000 used car. Piece of crap? Yes. But that's literally all you can afford. And you could save that up in a few months with your no payments. So that's step number two. You have that. Step number two, step number three. You get that card. Then, these collection people, they've already been going after you for two years. That's why it's not as high as the car thing, which is urgent and new. You save up $2,000 as quick as you can. Which I think you can do in another two months with your no payments. Remember, you're buying the car in cash, so you have no payments on that other than car insurance. You have $2,000. You call collections. You say, hey, you've been after me for two years. Fine. All I have is $2,000 to my name. Let me write a check today. You remove the collections. And then, at least at that point, you owe no I one. still call them first to like see what they say. Once you get $2,000. So this is, that's step four. call them when I have. When you have the money to actually close it up. Yeah. And then just keep, and then if they say no, you call them like, I don't know. Every few days saying, hey, here it is. Hey, here it is. This is what I'm willing to do. Bug them. Kill them until they are ready to just accept that and be done. And then, all of a sudden, you owe no one anything. You have a $0 net worth. Oh, you actually have a positive net worth because your car will be worth something. And then you can actually start doing things. You're young. You can start doing things that will improve your life. You have, well, what do you think about those steps? You have to do something because this is the worst I've ever I seen. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm going to keep the car. Why? You can't afford this car. Because that, that's the only thing, I can, only way I can get around. No, you were saving money Ubering around for $100 a month. Yeah, but I'm not going to keep Ubering to... I, I don't want anyone to Uber everywhere for anything either, but you were literally saving money the way you're doing it versus $1,000 a month for your car. I'll figure out the loan. No, or, you will not. Or the 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 credit. Why won't you sell the car? Even though it makes no mathematical sense. So when's the next time I can get a car? 
in, th in three months when you buy a five thousand dollar car in cash three months that's so long that is nothing compared to how you want your life to look when you're 65 but you're not going to be able to do anything for the rest of your life if you don't start taking care of this and you don't take care of this unless you sell one of your biggest debts this is not a joke well they said i had 90 days to give back the car really if that's in the contract it's, it's in the yeah it's in the you seriously need to do that when you leave this place i'm not even joking that's not this isn't for the cameras this isn't for anything you need to do that because this is gonna kill you for the rest of your life are you going to sell this car well i'll think about it i'll talk <laughs> i'll think about it what is there to think about what is any other logical point against what i just said because it took it i worked so hard to get that car are you sure because you literally <laughs> financed the down payment what did you work for the a thousand dollars you put down Fourteen hundred dollars. so that's what you worked so hard for this car is nothing who what's more important the rest of your life or this car right now my life of course Okay, then give me any other good logical reason against it because that one was broken. I just wouldn't be able to get anywhere. I'll, I'll get all I can do Uber, but no one will. For a couple months. Is that worth it? Is a couple months worth it? With this car payment, you're barely ever going to be able to save up and get your own place. You're barely going to be able to save up and take care of the collections. Not even at like a studio? In Austin, with how much you make, unless you're working 80 hours a week. That's too much. 60 hours. Why would you want to work 60 hours a week just so you have this car? Why is that worth it? Because I don't have to worry about someone picking me up or driving. For two months, two to three months. Yeah, but with all the bills that I had, to, or the the car, <laughs> paying my mom, and then other expense, food and. How are you not able to see what your life looks like after three months? Why is three months like the most critical thing in your life? That's critical. Clearly you're not used to real sacrifice if you're not willing to sacrifice three months of your life. I'll call them and see what they say about the car. So what do you see for your financial future? What are your goals and what are you going to do to get there? Save. You want your own place? place? Yeah, I just want to say that. Okay. Studio apartment in Austin. What are we talking? Thousand bucks a month? Unless you're living in a very sketchy one. Yeah, a thousand a month. Can you do? Can they do thousand? Is there apartments for a thousand a month? I don't know. I was thinking Studio. on the cheaper end, they're like the cheapest. Or but roommate? I would be roommate. In a studio? I almost did that with my friend. She had a studio roommate. I, I can't believe you're willing to. So or for, an apartment. Just get like an apartment with mm -hmm. one roommate. What other goals? What are you gonna do to get there? I'm hoping to just like get an acting gig and I just... <laughs> or I get something lined up or because I'm working with people right now. So I see myself being like an actress and um, what else? Doing singing. Stuff. So there's lots of hoping, but no plan. No actionable items. No plan yet. Give this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks. A special shout out to my Four Cups of Coffee Patreon members, Joshua Bennett and Anthony. If you're in the Austin area and you wish to participate in a financial audit, please email castingcalebhammer at gmail.com, which can be found in the description below.